Hey! In this video I will show you, how to make your own Steam in Game Hours Booster. I will use Node.js to make Steam Idler. This video will be useful for those who want to learn programming and don't trust public software. Before starting, if you want to boost your rank in CSGO, I recommend this service to you, Colonia Digital. This service has been working since 2016 and has a lot of positive reviews. Here you can fast and cheap get any matchmaking rank you want, buy CSGO Prime and non-prime accounts, and also get boost your GTA 5 account, you can get a big discount for GTA 5 services for a limited time. Use promo code GUNTHER10, to get 10% more discount for your purchases. Ok let's get started. Firstly, to make any program on Node.js you need to download and install corresponding development environment. Go to the official Node.js website. Here you need to download the latest stable version of Node. That is LTS version. Next just install this software. During installation just leave the default settings. Ok let's get down to creating a Steam Games Idler. I make a new folder on the desktop. I name it, Steam Idler. Open this folder. Then let's create a new text file with name, index.js. Make sure that you have enabled the file name extension checkbox in the view tab of the explorer. Ok, next let's open the PowerShell or command prompt in the current folder. To do this you need press shift and right mouse click on the empty space of this window. Then select, open PowerShell window here. In this console window you can initialize your project. To do this enter here, npm, in it. Then just press enter, for all these questions, and then confirm this. This is an optional step, you can just skip this. Next you need to install the requirement library. For Steam Hours Booster, we need only one library, Steam User. To install this package enter the following command, npm, i, steam-user. Wait some time, when it will be installed. Next you need to open the index.js file, that we previously created. You can use any text editor for this, even notepad is suitable for this. I will use sublime text, since it's more convenient for the video. Ok, let's get started programming. Firstly you need to import to the script the steam user package, that you just installed in the powershell. To do this enter the following line, const, steam user, equals, require, in brackets and single quotes, steam-user. Then let's create a new instance of steam, enter, const, any variable, for example, user, equals, new, steam user, and brackets. Next you need to create new variable that contains your account data. It is enough to enter only login and password. To do this enter, const, logon options, equals, in curly brackets enter account name and password. When you enter the login data, you need authorize in Steam. Enter the following line for this, user, dot, logon, and in brackets, logon options. Ok, then the script successfully authorize your account in Steam you need to start increase in game time. To do this make this construction, user, dot, on, in brackets enter two parameters. First is logged on in single quotes, that means when your account just logged on Steam it is needed to run the second parameter. In the second enter some commands, that we need to run. Here let's print in the PowerShell window that we successfully log on. Then set the profile status, it is online, busy, offline, invisible, etc. On the screen you can see codes for all status. Enter, user, dot, set persona state, and in brackets code of the status. Then to simulate run any game on your account, you need to enter the following line, user, dot, games played, and in the brackets indicate app ID of any Steam game. I want to boost Team Fortress in game time, then I need to enter, 440. Ok done. The script is ready now. Save this file, and go to the PowerShell window again. To run the script enter here, node, index. And now script is working. You can check this on your Steam profile page. Now this script is working but you can make it more useful to you. For example, you can boost in game time for more than one game. To do this list game IDs in square brackets. Ok, then you can to run this script in the invisible mode. Replace this value to 7. Save this file, and launch the script again. As you can see, Steam Idler does work in the invisible mode and boost in game time for multiple games. There is another feature of this script. 
you can set the custom game to show in your profile. To do this in the games played command, enter any text you want in brackets. And you need to set online status for your profile. Save this file, and run this script. You can see now, that this account playing non-steam custom game with my entered name. And also, this script can support idling for multiple steam accounts. I have two test account to show you how it works. Ok, go back to the code editing. Here let's make a new instance for the second account. Use another variable name for this. Then copy log on options, rename it. I just add one, at the end of all new variables. Here enter your new account login data. Use log on function to authorize the second account. And the last step, duplicate this construction. And add one for these variables. Ok done. Now we have two accounts to boost in game time. Save this file, run the script in the console. Ok, as you can see, now Steam Game Idler boosts in game time for two accounts. Ok, I talked about how to make your own Steam Hours Booster using Node.js. For convenience I make the repository on GitHub with this script. If you don't want to program, you can use this script right away. Download this script as shown on the video. Click, code, then, download zip. Unpack this archive on any location of the explorer you want. Open PowerShell in the current script folder. To do this press shift and right mouse button. Select open PowerShell window here. Enter in this console window, npm, i. Don't forget to install Node.js before this. Then open index.js in any text editor. Here replace this login data to your and indicate game IDs, in that you want to boost in game time. Here set your profile status. 1, for online, or 7 for invisible. Save this file, and run the script by entering, node, index, in the PowerShell. Then enter Steam Guard code, if you have enabled the Steam Guard. And then this script starts to boost in game time for your account. This Steam Idle script is open source and safe for your account. This is very simple to programming and customizing. This script can be launched on any platform, Windows, Linux, Mac, or even Android. Ok, I hope this video was useful and interesting for you. If you want to see more videos about programming scripts for Steam and not only, please write a comment about it. Please subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Thank you for watching.